morning everyone, hope you're all okay and welcome to today's lesson on decimals. Before we go into today's learning, I want you to think about back to yesterday's learning um, and write this number as a part whole model. So count how many tenths there are, how many hundredths, and then write it as a part whole model for me and then we'll go through the answer. Okay, so hopefully you managed to have a quick go at that. So um, the first thing you need to do is count how many tenths there are. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tenths. So that is 0 0.7. And there's one, two, three hundredths. So that is written as 0 0.03. So therefore, the number we have is 0 0.73. Because there are seven tenths and three hundredths. So 0 0.73. Hopefully, that was quite straightforward. Um, it was just using the knowledge we learned yesterday. So it hopefully was okay for you. So today, um, again, it's hopefully quite straightforward for you. We're just looking at the value of decimal digits um, because we've now looked at tenths, we looked at hundredths. So today is just all about um, being able to identify which number, um, which decimal is a tenth, which is a hundredth, and recognising what each of those digits stands for. So we've not kind of done this already, but it's just kind of going over it, consolidating it, just so we're really confident with our decimals. So your keywords um, are decimal, tenth, value, and hundredths. So using the place value grid, looking at this number, so we have 496.25 uh, or 25. How many hundreds are there? So this is something we've already done before. You've probably done it in year three and even year two um, using a place value grid. So how many hundreds are there? Straight away, you'll be able to tell me there's four. How many tens are there? There are nine. And how many ones are there? Six. So nice and easy so far. So we're just using a place value grid to look at the value of each digit. So there are six ones, nine tens, four hundredths. Moving on to the decimal points, how many tenths are there? So that's this number. So there are two tenths. And how many hundredths are there? There are five hundredths. OK, so again, it's just it's the same as what we would do with the numbers before the decimal point, which is what you're used to. Now we're just looking at tenths and hundredths on our place value grid, um, but using the same method that we would have used before. So it, it's hopefully um, not too mind blowing today. <laughs> so without a place value grid, what is the value of each digit? So you can use these sentence stems to help. So there are so many hundreds. There are so many tens. Um, ones and all that. So there aren't actually any hundreds in this one. Um, so that's actually quite misleading. <laughs> I'll put tens instead. There we go. So if you have someone at home to um, speak to, can you tell them what each of these digits are and how many there are of each one? So the value of each digit, including the, the decimal points, um, and say how many there are of each one. So hopefully you managed to go through that with someone or had to think about it. So there are five tens in this number. There are eight ones in this number. There are three tenths because that's in our tenths column. And there is one hundredths, OK, because these are our decimal points. Um, so this is what we're focusing on today, just looking at each digit, uh, mainly the ones past decimal point and just being able to identify which is a tenth, which is hundredths, and recognising the value of each digit. So um, now it's your turn. What I want you to do is pause the video and state the digit in the tenths place in each of these numbers. It shouldn't take you very long, um, but just pause the video and state the digit in each one for me, please. OK, so let's go through the answers then. The first one, 2.59, 5 is in the tenths place. So it's this digit here. 7.54, 5 again is in the tenths place, um, so therefore it would be 5 again. And this one, there are 0 tenths, so there's a 0 in the tenths place for this one. Um, so hopefully that was all okay. Now I want you to have a go at stating the digits in the hundredths place for me with these numbers. So pause the video, have a go, and then we'll go through it together. Okay, so this one then, 5.79, 9 is in the hundredths place. 8.26, 6 is in the hundredths place, and 1.34, 4 is in the hundredths place. 
okay? Um, I know some of you are probably finding this really easy, um, but it's really important to recognize the value of each digit, um, especially with decimal points, because um, it's something that you may not have looked at so much before. Um, and it's just good practice um, just to be able to recognize each value. So your mathematics task has been set for today. Um, it's based on just looking at the value of each digit. It's quite straightforward. And for some of you, it probably won't take you very long, which is why I've also set some questions for today. Um, so if it doesn't take you very long and you want to do a bit more, um, because this is a quite a short video as well, then go um, come back to this video. There are some questions or you can print them off on the website. Um, they're based on the same kind of thing and there is also a challenge as well so do your mathematics first that's the most important thing to get done and then if you want to do a bit more and you want to challenge yourself come back and go through some of the questions um, and I'll also go through the answers in this video as well so for those of you who are doing some questions here is your first set of questions I know there's a lot of numbers there so maybe just do as many um, as you want to in a set amount of time. Maybe set yourself five minutes and see how many you can get done. Because uh, I know there's a lot of questions, a lot of numbers there. Um, so you just have to find them and sort them out into the table below. And then your challenge is this question. So once you've had a go at those, come back and we will go through the answers for both of the questions. Okay, so answers then, this is the answers, these are the answers, sorry, for um, the first question when you had to sort out the numbers. So as I said, there were lots, so don't worry if you didn't do all of them, if you just did some, then that's still good practice. Um, these are all the answers for that. You might want to pause it to mark it, because I'm going to go to the challenge now. And for the challenge, this was a bit harder. Um, you had to complete the statement, so I'll go through the answers for these ones. So the first one says three tenths and two hundredths is the same as two tenths and twelve hundredths because um, you would need to exchange a tenth into the hundredths. So you exchange ten hundredths across um, to make twelve hundredths. So they've just exchanged um, ten hundred uh, one tenth sorry into the hundredths. For this one, fourteen hundredths and three tenths equals four tenths and four hundredths. This is because they have added um, this one here. Because 14 hundredths, there's one tenth in that, isn't there? There's one tenth from 4 hundredths. Um, so all they've done is put that back into the tenths. So added it onto 3 tenths, which is 4. And then you'd just be left with 4 hundredths. Um, so they've just exchanged the hundredths back into tenths. They've exchanged 10 hundredths into one tenth, um, essentially. This one. Um, you had to have a number which was five tenths and one hundredth, and then you had to think of a number that was larger than that. So five tenths and one hundredth, so that would be written as 0 0.51, um, is smaller than five tenths and something hundredths. Now for this one, you could have had any number bigger than one, um, and it would have been correct. So you could have 0 0.52, 0 0.53, and so on. So any of these numbers would have been correct. And the last one then, five tenths and one hundredth is larger than something tenths and five hundredths. So for this one, um, five tenths, 0.5, um, one again. So you had to think of a number smaller than that in the tenths column. So this is a tenth, so it had to be smaller than five. So it could have been four, three, two, one, or zero. Any of those would be correct. Um, that's everything for today. A nice short video for saying hopefully it was all okay for you. Um, any problems, let me know and thank you for watching.